Elon Musk is going to take us to Mars with this amazing space engine. Hidden away in a Texan hangar is a brand new rocket engine that'll put us on Mars, help us explore the moon, and even further dominate the aviation industry. So, how awesome is this engine? Find out that and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech, where we'll unravel what SpaceX just did with Raptor 3 engines that are thrilling the minds of scientists. The SpaceX Raptor is a cryogenic stage combustion rocket engine intended to power the high-performance lower and upper stages of the Mars-bound rocket Starship. It has more than three times the thrust of SpaceX's Merlin 1D engines propelling the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets and steps away from a kerosene-based propellant. Raptor consumes a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen in a full-flow stage combustion cycle, and because it's so hard to develop, no engine like this has ever flown before. The highly reusable engine makes use of concepts that were first shown to us on the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, including deep cryogenics that are cooled below their boiling point to increase their density and then load the limited tank volume with a bigger mass of propellant. Like SpaceX's Merlin engines, at least two versions of the Raptor will be available, one for use on the first stage booster of the Starship launch vehicle, and the other for use in vacuum for operation outside the Earth's atmosphere for the interplanetary insertion and in the ambient Martian atmosphere for retro propulsion prior to landing. Raptor's design was revealed back in 2016 during an address given by Elon at the International Aeronautical Congress, where he broke down SpaceX's Mars transport architecture. Known as the first version of the Raptor family, Raptor 1 is one of the cleanest burning rockets on the market. Sadly, while Raptor 1's been refined over the years, it's now an obsolete design. Its construction is complex, tough to manufacture, and has a long turnaround between launches. It also has hit a thrust ceiling of 185 tons, meaning it's going to struggle to reach Musk's demands for a Mars-bound Starship. SpaceX's solution then was the Raptor 2, which has a large number of performance and reliability upgrades. However, Musk's primary goal is for the cost per ton of the thrust of Raptor to be under $1,000. This means Raptor needs to be $250,000 grand to produce. Hence, Raptor 3 was born. And during the unique Raptor 3 engine test, SpaceX treated the rocket science community to a breathtaking spectacle. Test footage revealed the awesome power and fiery brilliance of the engine as it roared to life, leaving onlookers in absolute awe of its might. It signifies a remarkable advancement in performance and propels the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. Tested under rigorous conditions, the Raptor 3 engine astounded experts with exceptional capabilities. Amidst the excitement, Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, took to Twitter to share the remarkable achievements of the Raptor 3 engine. It's really generating a staggering thrust force of approximately 269 tons and operating at a chamber pressure of 350 bar. By comparison, the closest engine to Raptor that uses a phase combustion cycle with methane and oxygen is the BE-4 engine, which is expected to produce about 245 tons of thrust. This special version 3 surpasses the popular rocket engines such as RS-25 with 190 tons and RD-180 with their two combustion chambers. And the Raptor 3 engine outperforms its predecessor, the Raptor 2 engine, with numbers as impressive as up to 18%. The substantial increase in performance is a testament to SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and their commitment to pushing the limits of rocket technology. Wow, 350 bar is a record-breaking number. It's now defeated all the most powerful rocket engines. It's surprising because the previously thought chamber pressure belonged to the F-1 engine that propelled the iconic Saturn V rockets during the historic moon missions, operating at a mere 70 bar. The RD-180 engine used in the Atlas V rocket has a respectable chamber pressure of 267 bar. Moving forward on the timeline, we encounter the RS-25 engine, the mainstay of NASA's space shuttle program, which only reached 206 bar. In the world of rocket science, where every ounce of thrust matters, the chamber pressure is the basis for creating the powerful thrust of the engine. Raptor 3 chamber wall might have the highest heat flux of anything ever made, Musk tweeted. As the pressure within the combustion chamber rises, the propellants experience a more forceful expulsion, resulting in a greater velocity as they are propelled through the engine's nozzle. We remember, according to Newton's third law of motion, this forceful expulsion creates an equal and opposite reaction, providing the necessary thrust to propel the rocket forward. 
This enhanced thrust enables rockets to carry heavier payloads, achieve higher velocities, and the grand goal to ultimately be able to go on more ambitious space missions. A higher chamber pressure leads to a greater thrust output, enabling a higher thrust to weight ratio. This ratio is crucial as it signifies the amount of force the engine can produce in relation to its own weight. A higher thrust to weight ratio empowers the rocket to carry heavier payloads or achieve enhanced acceleration, which then ups the range of missions it can go on. On top of that, the importance of chamber pressure extends to the design flexibility of rocket engines. Higher pressure offer engineers the ability to achieve desired performance characteristics while maintaining compact and lightweight engine designs. This flexibility is crucial as it allows the development of advanced launch vehicles that can go on various mission requirements, including crewed missions, deep space exploration, and satellite deployments. The Raptor engine's efficiency makes it the granddaddy of all the other rocket engines out there. We can't say for certain that this will be the final version of the Raptor, nor can we confirm that it'll be used on the second Starship test launch, but anything's possible, because SpaceX's limits are limitless. Here's to hoping we see the Raptor 3 reveal themselves at Starbase soon. To attain these goals, the Raptor engine has undergone a ton of ongoing improvements and iterations, showcasing the company's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket engine tech. Raptor 3 represents a significant step forward in engine development and boasts major advancements in performance, efficiency, and overall capability. With a Raptor 3, SpaceX aims to achieve even higher thrust and reliability, pushing the limits of what's possible in rocket propulsion. There's bound to be a lot of speculation about the future of Raptor engine iterations, especially whether Raptor 3 is a temporary replacement for Raptor 2, nor do we have much information on SpaceX's long-term plans. But we can safely assume that Raptor 3 most likely serves as a transitional phase, allowing SpaceX to gather valuable data and insights while simultaneously working on further refinements of the engine. Don't forget, SpaceX has always had a very unique approach to the development of engines or rockets compared to others out there. They're always focused on rapid iteration and ultimately upping their game. So it's not uncommon for the company to introduce intermediate versions of their engines before reaching a final optimized design. This iterative process allows SpaceX to test new concepts, identify areas for enhancement, and refine their engines to achieve optimal performance. However, the path to innovation is not without its challenges. The development of the Raptor engine has not been without occasional setbacks and engine failures. SpaceX acknowledges the engine testing is a complex and demanding process, and sometimes engines may fail during testing, either unintentionally or on purpose. It's clear that Raptor is currently in its infancy. Similar to what SpaceX did with the Merlin, the engine will continue to evolve as SpaceX flies more, builds more, and tests more. Nevertheless, despite this challenge, SpaceX is staying the course in their commitment to advancing the Raptor engine. The company understands that these setbacks are all a necessary part of the journey towards creating a more efficient and high thrust engine. And that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and please share your ideas in the comments section below. Your support motivates us to create more quality videos. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.